Welcome to Physics 2100 at Cal State LA. This is video number 10 on gravitation. I'm your professor, Dr. Bijan Berenji. This is November 2016. Gravity. Gravity is a part of everyday experience. We notice that things fall and that things are accelerated down an inclined plane, for example. In our studies up until now, we have assumed a constant gravitational acceleration of g equals 9.8 meters per second squared. However, we need to consider the underlying physics more closely. Attraction between two objects. It may, be, may not be apparent from everyday experience that two pieces of paper may attract each other because the forces between them are small. We were talking about the force of gravitational acceleration, gravitation, that is. It may be more easy to grasp that the Earth is or in orbit around the Sun due to the gravitational force. Law of Universal Gravitation In general, the law of universal gravitation states that between two masses m1 and m2 separated by distance r, the gravitational force may be expressed as g m1 m2 over r squared, where f1 on 2 equals f2 on 1 equals g m1 m2 over r squared. The gravitational constant g equals 6.67 .6 times 10 to minus 11 newton meter squared per kilogram squared. Example 1. What is the gravitational force of attraction between a 1.0 kilogram object and a 2.0 kilogram object at a, a distance of 1 millimeter and b, a distance of 1 meter? We may write the universal law of gravitation, f equals g m1 m2 over r squared. In this case, the 1 kilogram object is 1.0, the 2.0 kilogram object is m2, g equals 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11, and r equals 1.0 times 10 to the minus 3, and we obtain a force of 130 micronewtons between the two objects at 1.0 millimeters distance. B, using a larger distance of r equals 1.0 meters, we find f equals 1.3 times 10 to minus 10 newtons. We see that the force decreases with the distance between two objects. Gravitational acceleration. From the law of universal gravitation, we may express the force between the Earth of mass m Earth and the mass m as g m Earth m over r squared. But we have written f equals mg in the past, so that we may write the general expression for the gravitational acceleration on Earth as g equals g m Earth over r squared. At the surface of the Earth, we can derive approximately the gravitational acceleration. M Earth equals 5.972 times 10 to the 24th kilograms. Radius of the Earth, R Earth, equals 6.371 times 10 to the 6th meters. G equals 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11 times 5.972 times 10 to the 24th divided by 6.371 times 10 to the 6th squared gives us a G of 9.81 meters per second squared. Example 2. What is the gravitational acceleration 1,000 kilometers from the Earth's surface? Let R1 be the new radius, G0 be the acceleration of the surface of the Earth, and G1 be the new gravitational acceleration. G0 equals Gm Earth over R Earth squared. G1 equals Gm Earth over R1 squared.
Let me express G1 in terms of G0. G1 equals G0 R Earth squared over R1 squared. If R Earth equals 6,370 kilometers, R1 equals 6,370 plus 1,000 kilometers. So we have G1 equals to 7.32 meters per second squared. Gravitational potential energy. The gravitational potential energy due to bodies of m of mass m1 and m2 separated by distance r is given by u equals negative g m1 m2 over r. The negative sign signifies the attractive potential. Escape velocity. For a certain value of the velocity, a spaceship of mass m, it will escape the pull of the Earth's gravity. That condition is given from energy consideration. k plus u equals zero. So in other words, k equals half mv squared minus, plus the gravitational potential energy negative gm m Earth over r is equal to zero. Thus, v escape equals square root of 2 gm over r. The escape velocity from Earth may thus be calculated as 11.2 kilometers per second.